kuambiwa kimani ichungwa Asante mheshimiwa Osoro mheshimiwa rais naibu wetu wa rais na watu wa Gilgil Hamjambo Moreaga Mheshimiwa rais mimi sitakuwa mwingi wa maneno lakini kwanza ukinikubalia watu wa Gilgil hii shule ambayo mheshimiwa rais ametufungulia na ambayo mama mheshimiwa madha wametujengea tumeona iko na idadi ya 91 students watoto tisaini na moja. na mheshimiwa rais umekuwa ukiwa mbia wa Kenya hasa vijana wetu umetembea nchi nyingi za kigeni kutafuta ajira ya vijana niwaulize tu vijana wa hapa Gilgil na hapa Elementaita that 91 students hii shule iko na capacity ya kuchukua watoto hata elfu moja. na hizo nafasi za kazi ambazo rais anasema ziko Ujerumani ni mechanics ambao na electrical engineers and technicians ambao watafanya courses hapa ni watu ambao watakuwa na technical skills hizo ambazo unasikia rais akitangaza zimewekwa kwa mitandao na kwa magazeti nafasi za kazi nyingi ziko nje zingine kama hao vijana wanasoma ICT kwa ICT hub hapa kazi ambazo wataweza kufanyia hapa hapa kijijini elementaita na wawe na kazi wanapata pesa in dollars huko nje so nianze tu kwa hiyo kuwauliza vijana mkubali kujisajili wengi muingie kwa hii shule ili iwe kwa manufaa kwenu Your Excellency nimesikia yale yamesemwa najua Osoro ni wakili mchanga kidogo na najua ako na kesi mingi mahakamani lakini nikushukuru rais sababu jana wewe na kiongozi wa mahakama her ladyship the chief justice kiongozi wetu wa bunge speaker wetangula na speaker kingi mulifanya mkutano wa dharura na mkakubaliana vile sisi wote wa Kenya tumekubaliana ya kuwa janga la ufisadi limo kwa nchi yetu na mmetuambia kwa siku chache zijazo idara zote za serikali idara ya mahakama bunge executive wenye unaongoza tuweke mikakati ya kuhakikisha ya kuwa ufisadi umetolewa kwa kazi ya umma na nchi yetu na mheshimiwa rais nikushukuru na nikuhakikishie ya kuwa sisi katika bunge ile mambo yote ambayo itahitajika tufanye kama wabunge kusaidia kwa vita dhidi ya ufisadi sisi kwa bunge tumo tayari na tutakuwa tayari ili kama ni sheria inahitaji kubadilishwa tutabadilisha kama kuna policy or administrative reforms zitahitajika tuko tayari kuhakikisha ya kuwa hayo yote yamefanyika wale unasikia mheshimiwa rais wakipinga sisi tukiongea mambo ya ufisadi nataka nikwambie usiwasikize wale ni watu ambao wamekuwa kinufaika na ufisadi hata hao osoro wanasema wale ulisikia jana wakipinga huo mkutano ni wale ambao wamekuwa kinufaika na ufisadi na mambo ya kuteka nyara uchumi na nchi yetu kupitia ufisadi therefore your excellency let me just encourage you and congratulate you her ladyship the chief justice and our speakers in parliament for the meeting that you had yesterday and your excellency since we are now all agreed as kenyans that corruption state capture are a danger not just to us as a nation today but even to future generations that corruption remains the single most threat to our nation's welfare your excellency we want to thank you for convening the meeting that the judiciary requested and you are all agreed those in the judiciary now agree that corruption is a problem those of us in the legislature agree that we have a problem of corruption in Kenya those of you your excellency serving under your leadership in the executive you have also considered that indeed corruption is a cancer that we must deal with 
I want to give you the highest assurance, Your Excellency, as your majority leader in the National Assembly, that whatever policy, administrative, or legislative interventions that you require from Parliament, we shall be at the forefront of ensuring that those administrative policy or legislative reforms are enacted to help us deal with the uh, cancer and scourge of corruption and state capture in this country. Your Excellency, don't worry about those who are making noise at you. That you agreed at the request of our judiciary to convene a meeting to discuss the question of corruption. Your Excellency, those who are opposed to this discussion are beneficiaries of corruption and state capture, past state capture in this country. And Your Excellency, since you have told us that we must within a few days or in a month or so be able to have immediate short-term and long-term interventions. Your Excellency Unajua, I have a small proposal that I will be bringing to the table that in the medium term to the long term for this country to be able to address the question of corruption we must institute a state capture commission that we will deal decisively with how people who hold offices in this country use their offices to capture the state and perpetuate corruption as, the, as a norm or as a way of life in public office, Your Excellency. I will therefore be presenting proposals, Your Excellency, be it to the executive, to the judiciary, and even to parliament on the establishment of a state capture commission to help us to decisively deal with the scourge and the cancer of corruption in our country. Stuck in the idea, hayo mweshimua rais, najua ni mbesikia hii nakuru, ni county wa mama ndiyo wanasema, na wanaume tunasikiza. Na ni kweli, sababu ukiangalia kutoka hapa, hii Gilgil constituency, mweshimua mother Mother akiongea bunge, sisi wote, hata mimi, uyu tu mother ndi anaweza kuniambia bunge, majority leader, leader sit down, na nakaa chini, bila kuuliza zoali. Sababu, she is our first chairperson of the speaker's panel. Kutoka speaker wetangula, utoke kwa deputy speaker, the third most powerful person kwa bunge la kitaifa ni mbunge wenyu hapa, Gilgil. Natana unajua... This is the only county yuko na wamama wengi wamechaguliwa viti za ubunge, hata senate na governor mwenyewe mwenye na ita kukaribisha, governor wetu wa nguvu, mama Susan Kiheka. Kwa hivyo kwa heshima ni muulize governor wetu, Her Excellency Governor Susan Kiheka, aje aseme yake machache, si huyu governor ni wa nguvu. Na mweshimuwa raisu na kumbuka wakati tulikuwa na tafuta serikali. Baadhi ya wale viongozi, chupavu, ambao tulijua hawawezi tetemeshwa na mtu yeyote ni huyu governor Susan Kihika. Na mweshimuwa raisu na jua juzi nilikuambia privately na nivizuri nitangaze. Kama itafika siku tuweza kubadilisha hii katiba. Mimi naona tubadilisha katiba, hii kiti ya governor, tuseme hii ni kiti ya affirmative action, inapewa hawa wa mama, sababu ndiyo wanaelewa hii kazi ya governor. Asante ni karibu governor. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Asante, asante. Your Excellency, um...